the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video pi and r uh, in using circle we always refer to the pi and r so when we take a circle uh, to find out the circumference uh, we use the formula 2 pi r and we always say that pi is a constant that is 22 by 7 and we use this to calculate the circumference of the circle there is a relationship between pi and r and the child can be given this practical experience of linking the pi and r now let us take a circle and then fold the circle to get a diameter and then we fold it again vertically to get the radius now what is the relationship between the diameter and the radius the diameter of the circle is two times of the radius now the diameter and the circumference of the circle are linked in certain proportion so let us uh, find out that uh, using real objects and giving practical experience to the child now let us take a plate let us take a plate and uh, let us find out the circumference of this let us find out the circumference of this using a paper strip right we have used this paper uh, strip uh, to find out the exact uh, the circumference of the plate now we have to find out uh, the radius or the diameter now in a plate like this it is easy to find the diameter then the radius because it's very difficult to find out the center of this uh, plate uh, now have an approximation of uh, the upper half and the lower half and then uh, try to find out uh, the diameter of this uh, plate so approximately I find a diameter of the plate using this paper strip and then let us fold it inside right now I have made a paper strip which is the diameter of the plate well it need not be exact you know approximate measurement is uh, okay now let us find out the relationship between the the circumference of this plate and uh, the diameter so when you say 2 pi r 2 pi r is nothing but uh, pi into 2r that is pi d okay so that is uh, diameter now let us find out how many times of the diameter we get uh, in the uh, circumference this is one and uh, you, you can simply fold that uh, paper and uh, two right and then you can turn it uh, and then make one more time so three right so and and a portion left well this is nothing but uh, the one seventh of the portion so what happens you know the diameter is linked to the pi in such a way that uh, the pi is uh, 3 1 by 7th time of the diameter the diameter the pi is the pi is approximately 3 1 by 7th times of uh, the d so that means the circumference when you have uh, the diameter the circumference is pi d so that is pi is 3 1 7th times of the diameter 
Let us uh, prove this with another example too. We have used a big plate. Now let us take a small lid and see you know how we get this measurement. Now let us take a small lid. Now let us find out the circumference of this lid too. So we can use this paper strip right okay and then it comes here and then there you fold it and then uh, and then take it out to make it as the circumference of the lid so this is the circumference of the lid now let us find out the radius now here the radius is possible because in this uh, lid uh, fortunately we have a center point so we measure the diameter and uh, you know the diameter should touch two sides of the uh, circumference through the radius so let us fold this strip right and then now we get uh, the diameter of this lid diameter of this lid so now let us uh, measure it is one and you can fold it it's one times and then two times right and then three times right so one time two times and uh, three times and then you have a portion left right so this is the one seventh of uh, the diameter one seventh of the diameter so one two three four five six seven approximately so when you look at the diameter and the circumference you will always uh, find uh, that uh, the circumference is three one seventh time of the diameter